To start in the chain, consistency is the name of the game. Keeping that same stroke, that same angle, everything the same every time. You gotta have everything worse. You go. It's like baking a cake. You can't just take one ingredient and make a cake taste good. It takes all the ingredients to make it good. And the same way with sharpening the chain, you gotta do, everything needs to be right on it too. All right, y'all are attached to my steel MS400C. It's a uh, 33RS chain on it, so full comp. It means it's non-skip, full chisel chain. I've hit metal with this chain uh, several different times now. And uh, some of the cutters are not the same length and that doesn't really matter a whole lot, but I'm gonna do what I call the tailor sharpening on this chain, and this is gonna cover everything. And I'm gonna walk you through it, I'm gonna start out. So this is a 3X chain, I'm using the uh, 730 seconds file. Still want you to use a 1364 file, which is a little bit smaller than this one right here. And their thoughts are is to undercut underneath that top plate a little bit more with a 1364. I've got 1364. However, I don't like it as much as I do the 730 seconds file. We're going to take off. I've got my two cutters marked here so I can look at them real quick as I'm going around. And we're going to roll with it here. See that tooth there is damaged a little bit. I'm starting at 25 degrees. So I do like the 33RS chain, it's a uh, good hard tempered chain. It's not my favorite chain, but I do like it. And so I use different uh, depth gauges and I already know what this one is doing here. The This is an Oregon depth gauge and it gives you the average over multiple teeth. So you can't get like accurate on one, but I mean, it gives you a good Rule of uh, rule of thumb. So I'm checking this side over here and just looking at it. So I know I can get away with a couple of strokes on that chain. So I'm gonna cut the gullet too. The gullet, I'm gonna go over it with a 3 sixteenths file, which is a 4.8 millimeter. The 7.30 seconds is a five and a half millimeter. So what we're gonna do is it's not gonna hit the top plate at all. I'm gonna go a couple of strokes, putting pretty decent pressure on it. Again, this is a 3 sixteenths on the 3 8 chain. Cause what I'm doing is I'm curving that gullet perfectly and sharp, sharpening the side plate really, really nice. In a minute, I'll tell why I call it the Taylor sharpening. See, that's the one that's got a chisel damage right there. Alright, 
so that's that's really nice it's got a perfect semicircle in there on it got good bite on the points right there okay now i'm gonna hit the rakers or the depth gauges or the drags whatever you choose to call them this file here has a rounded side on it so if you let it slip back in the tooth it won't damage the tooth that you already sharpened so i'm gonna go two strokes and on the second stroke i'm gonna kind of roll off the front of the raker just a little bit see how i did that just kind of roll it just a little bit All right, so that's all of them. Let me look at them here with the average of them, see what, they, what they're like. That's pretty nice. Okay, all right. Now, we're gonna take and we're gonna cut the sides of the record. Let me make sure that y'all can see this. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down with it. One stroke. And it's a little bit tough to do it. Once you get the file angle right. This one is messed up. Last one. Okay. So I'm going to get the camera down here where you can see, maybe you can see pretty good here. It is still. Now I'll flip the saw around in the vise and get the other side. I'm not going to show it. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. I'm going to... Uh, uh, hit it with the regular file, the 730 seconds, and come back with the 3 sixteenths, and then work the rakers, and then work the sides of the rakers, and um, get them get them fixed up like that. I don't I don't sharpen them like this every time. It's just occasionally I'll do what's called the the Taylor sharpening on them and do the do the complete works on them uh, like that and get them uh, fixed up just every now and then after you sharpened a few times you'll need to uh, need to work on that if you file those rakers down too much then the saw is going to start really biting on you and it becomes very very dangerous and the only way that you can 
fix that is is by filing this tooth back if you notice on the on the chain the tooth is angled uh, back and that's the reason why you have to file the rakers down like you do is to keep that gap the height difference correct so it's about 25 thousandths you can uh you can get them a little bit lower on the saw it's got a lot of power but on normal people you know consumer saws people out you know just run the mill stuff hunting clothes around the house things like that i do not recommend filing the rakers down any lower like i said if you if you get them too low and the saw starts biting the only thing that you can do then is file the top plate back on them and do that so these are just uh, oregon file gauges i prefer these these are about nine bucks or so a lot of people laugh at me but uh when you see the what the results of what the tailor sharpening does on it uh you'll uh, you'll get it you'll understand and the vice is very very key a lot of people will comment on the way that my saws cut and and the chips that they pull with the sharpening the chain consistency is the name of the game keeping that same stroke that same angle everything the same every time and the vice just takes all of that it helps you take all of the like the discrepancies out of it like if you're trying to file out in the woods or something you know it helps a lot and and even if i file in the woods i do have a stump vice but i have a vice that i clamp to my uh gooseneck that i'll i'll sharpen them with like it but rarely do i sharpen a chain out in the woods when i'm on a tree job or something if i that's the reason why i have so many uh saws so why is it called the uh taylor sharpenings <laughs> well one of the last saw classes that that i had i had a bunch of guys in here and one of the guys that was <laughs> in here his name was taylor and taylor's in the saws big time he drove right out a thousand miles to come up here to uh to watch the class and and uh chris was in it too he was here that night and i wasn't filming none of this but i did the same thing to this chain right here and we went outside and i had a, a log up on the post there and i laid into that thing and i mean it just that when you when you do this much to one it'll just flat eat it, it goes and so when I looked up, there were not only Taylor, but there were some other guys. Their eyes were, were very, very big, and Taylor was very animated about it. So I coined this sharpening, the Taylor sharpening. So if you ever hear me say that I did a Taylor sharpening on a saw, uh, there you go. But I'm going to uh, get this other side right here. So if you're running a 3 h chain, you'll file it with a 732 for five and a half millimeter going to be your 50 cc saws and smaller uh you're going to uh, it'll have a 325 you'll file it with a 4.8 millimeter or a 316 file when you get down into smaller chains like the top panel saws the uh, pole saws things like that they are a uh, 530 seconds file very small file is what uh what they are and file them you make sure your file matches your chain and on your box your chain boxes it will tell you oregon chains they have all kind of stuff online that you can look at on on their stuff and it'll uh it'll tell you what size file to use with what size chain you got and you, you need to do that you need to do that and the reason why i don't i like the file i like the gauge on the file is is because as you're filing and you're cutting you're cutting into if you're just freehanding it if you don't hold the file just right up the file will start drifting down and start cutting down into the side plate and you're really not sharpening your top plate right there it's very important to get this point you need that point and you need that top plate sharpened you got to have everything worse you go it's like baking a cake you can't just take one ingredient and make a cake taste good it takes all the ingredients to make it good and the same way with sharpening the chain you got to do everything needs to be right on it to uh to do it because i do some some square filing on chains i got my 500 over i got one use a double bevel six-sided file to uh to do them with so hope you enjoyed that little thing with the uh talking about the tailor sharpening